Hello there, this is Ben Farnier, and here's more Space Commander War in Trade. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do a, a bit more trading, mostly. Mostly. That, uh, yeah, it's like. I was actually thinking more along the lines of trying to find a better, um. Trade ship first. I would like to get the Star Fury thing, but it's also kind of a pain. So a good price to buy. I must have bought those there last time. Yep. Let, let's go. go. All right. So we're at the Elf. What would it be? One of the Lagrange Station things here, between the Earth and the Moon, or something like that. Yep. Or uh, in orbit of the Moon. You know, it's funny, in uh, Starship Troopers, one of my more popular videos is just a clip of uh, Xander realizing he had made a terrible mistake, but uh, backing out from the orbital ring seemed like a little different than it should be, because it's like they're, they're treating uh, just the way the gravity would work doesn't seem like it would work, but uh, oh well. Anyway. I do believe ship parts seem to sell on Earth. Let's see if that works in general. And I'm unsure, like, uh... This is flight control to approaching vessels. We've transmitted your docking coordinates. Please proceed when ready. Sensors show no enemy contact. The thing I'm not sure about was... almost lost in my mind for a moment. Oh, great. Obey the ground crew guidelines, and enjoy your stay. Was it this about the ship parts being good price to sell? Okay, so that's uh, still a good price to sell. Do they want spacesuits on Earth? No. Well, that's useless. And good price to sell, and good price to buy. Not very much, because we don't have that. I do want to get a proper... Um, a uh, trading ship at some point. Unfortunately, at this station, it's only ones that you can buy for actual money, which is stupid. Those shouldn't have an option whatsoever. Ah, <sighs> the joy. I I hate the very concept of micro microtransactions. That's just something that should be illegal. I mean, game should be just. Not a, another method of extortion. Okay, what next? Let's see. What was it? Uh, Green Farm was the one that actually has the ships for credits rather than real dollars. This is flight control to approaching vessels. We've transmitted your docking coordinates. Security clearance granted. And of course, press L for. Uh, being able to expedite that, good price to sell water on Earth. So that is a small trade there. Not very much of one, but better than nothing. And we're spending most of that on refueling between the two stations. How lovely, right? Uh, why am I here? I don't know, ship parts are not good price. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nutrients. There's that. So we're going to bring fast food out to somewhere, I guess. Uh, any inbox suggestions? Best training nutrients in Galileo. Would that be Jupiter? If, it's difficult for me to remember all those names. But uh, let's see. This would be the one that has the ships that actually can be bought. So this one here with... Is that cargo? No, that's fuel, but I think, and this would be the cargo, okay, so that one has a high amount of cargo possible, and this one that costs actual money has maxed fuel and maxed uh, cargo space, and that one also costs real money, and this has very little of either, <sighs> the joy. T4 Gorilla. So, four cargo spaces, that's what that means. So, the the best one is the T16 Rex, which costs $2 of real money. 
good grief. But uh, the ones that don't cost real money, at least not at Green Farm, there's the Bronto, which has fuel, but only, let's see, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 cargo spaces, so that's at least something. So the Bronto would be the best choice for not spending actual money. And I still want to get the Star Fury, although I don't know don't want to spend any more on any of these. Good grief. Uh, that is a cute little fighter though, but no. Ah, the joy. The Vipers from Battlestar Galactica, right? At least the name is. I don't think that looks particularly like the Vipers from there, does it? Like, sort of, but not really. The Mamba looks cool, but it's not worth two bucks in real money, though. This looks like it's right out of Star Wars, doesn't it? It is cool looking, though, with all the miniguns and other stuff. Uh, yeah, it's lovely how they have actual money things interspersed, but this is my favorite, the Star Fury from Babylon 5. It'd be even cooler if you could put, like, the Psychor logo on it. On it. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see, did we refuel? Yep, okay. Alrighty, so let's see about going and selling oh, stuff. Start. I didn't check to see if... let's... okay. I'm this gonna, is flight control. Check your speed. I forgot to see if we could sell this... oh, I must have sold the ship parts. Okay, never mind. That was wasted. All right. That was a smooth start. Okay. So Galileo, would that be Jupiter? Equilibrium. Okay. Here's the stations here. Pythagoras is apparently that one on the left. Odysseus. Piranha. Equilibrium, Stellar Mall, Parabellum, New Warsaw, Hera. So no, not there. And Neptune is Lighthouse. And in the belt we have Steelheart, Liber, Orion. Okay, Saturn is New London. Excalibur is one of them, and Titan, so not there. Oh my word, here's a pirate thing that we can't get. Bastille? What? Wait, what? Yeah, the Bastille Pirates. Still that one that we can't get, and if I do, then it'll be just a real pain to deal with them. Okay, Galileo is at Uranus. Okay, fine, there's where we're going, I guess. This is flight control. You're cleared for docking. I'm not detecting enemies. But keep your eyes open. Okay. This is flight control. Check your speed. No. Okay. So, they don't want spacesuits, but they do want fast food. Okay. And good price to buy ship parts, it says. Good price to sell fuel. Good price to sell metal parts. So pretty much ship parts are what we have to work with from them. Okay then. That's it. That's all the space we have. Yay. And we have to refuel. I do look forward to when I can afford the um, the cargo ships that aren't garbage and we don't have ships to buy here <sighs> okay time for some action are you sure about that yeah interesting that looks like a, there aren't that many large moons there i don't believe 
there are large moons around Uranus. But oh well. And they have a ship parts factory there so they don't need them there. It would be nice if they listed where things were needed more but yeah, anything that's kind of piddly is not worth buying from. But Earth seems to want ship parts. Mercury, let's see, they don't list needing any of this stuff. Uh, let's go to Mercury anyway. They have medicines, so that's Ducking a thing. Ducking request confirmed. Please proceed to the landing pad. Sensors show no enemy contact. There's the planet. That's the feature of my book that I'm working on right now. Uh, it'll be... Whenever it's done, it'll be done, though. I've got most of the main plots written, just it's going to take forever, probably still. Ah, well, here was... Initiating docking procedure. Seeing if I wasted my time going out here. Yeah, that's not good. Well, at least they want one pair of spacesuits. Ah, great. Good price to buy that. Okay, well... Let's sell this, and I guess let's buy some medicine. Hope it's not bad medicine. That would suck. Refuel, yay, 1502. That's the number of a year, right? That would be for some of that exploration stuff. Well, I mean, like, when it just got started in the Caribbean and whatnot. For, like, major stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Or, er, well, let's see what it says for trade deals. Anything? No. All right. Well, let's see if they want to. Select our next destination. Yep. It is kind of cool. Mercury looks like the moon, but it has the same gravity as Mars because of its higher density. And you definitely need to have like monolithic domes with very reflective outer shells and maybe like a double hull design, thermos like, to maximize like uh, insulation. Uh, let's see though, onward to, I don't know, metal ores. Okay, Ignis of Doom, the station Ignis. This is flight control to approaching vessels. We've transmitted your docking coordinates. Please proceed when ready. No contacts. We're clear. Yeah, there's like an island out in the Pacific that has an undersea waterfall right at a beach that's kind of scary. It's like, I don't want to know how many people lost their lives and that kind of thing, but that's like, that would drag anyone down. It could probably be used as like some kind of power source, maybe. This is flight control. Check your speed. Like, put some propellers with some motors on it to make it into something useful rather than just a hazard. Ah, these aren't that useful here. Great. Ah, well, I guess maybe sell one. Anything useful here? Well, there's the metal ores, so I guess we have one of those now. Lovely, lovely. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get some more fuel before we run out. And let's see. Inbox. Best train deal at Liber in the belt. Okay. It is interesting, like, how it's a common mindset of pirates being in the belt whenever that's developed, but it does make sense having so many asteroids to hide, hide ships behind or within comp and all that sort of stuff. You'd still have probably have a ton of tracking devices, satellites and nice whatnot. To have you aboard. Why did the I ground click crew is that? On standby. Let's see, did we spend a bunch of fuel? No, we didn't. Okay. So that didn't cost that much fuel just to exit that much. It would be funny if it's like lift, lift off and suddenly you have a whole interplanetary journey's worth of wasted fuel. But, alright, Liber is there. 
Attention vessels, you've been granted docking access. Please proceed. I'm not detecting enemies, but keep your eyes open. The last movie I watched with my dad before he had passed away due to lung cancer in uh, March of 1999. Abide the ground crew guidelines and enjoy your stay. Was a movie I don't fully recommend because it is kind of horrific. It is a sci fi horror movie. It's Event Horizon and it actually got me interested in Latin a bit. It just. I, I've only studied a bit of Wheel of Locks and a couple of their textbooks, but uh, just as a hobby only. But, uh, yeah, the whole uh, Liberate Tutte Me Ex Inferis kind of thing was just cool. But, uh, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, good price to sell. Okay, so we can sell those there, and that's an okay price to sell, and this is a good price to sell, it says. Oh, so, that's nice. Oh, we can buy weapons for pie. Nice. Three, one, four. And, oh, good. There's that, which is very limited in how useful it is otherwise. <sighs> okay, let's see what says it's a good trade deal. Buying fuel and yeeting it over to Pythagoras, which is over by Jupiter. Okay, then. So that's useful more when you have a ship that can hold a ton of it. But okay, buying four of those at 23 cents each. And let's go to Pythagoras after we refuel. Oh, I guess I must have already. Captain's log, start date. Oh, wait, I wish. I do too, Mr. Dude. I do too. It would be cool to have all that interstellar stuff. But yeah, here's Pythagoras over at, at Jupiter. This is flight control to approaching vessels. We've transmitted your docking coordinates. Let's see. Please proceed when ready. Sensors show no enemy contact. Is that Ganymede? I think that would have to be Ganymede. But yeah, it doesn't look that much like IO or... Abide the ground crew guidelines and enjoy your stay. Okay, let's get more fuel. There's... Alrighty then. And let's see here. So we bought it 28, 23 cents, so we're selling it 38, 38, 37. And not that much difference because that's just crap. Oh well. Got a couple of those at least. And, well, 336 rather than 314. It's difficult for me to remember those, but it's something I'm trying to do. Okay, still a good price to buy, still a good price to buy. Okay, so there's that, anyway. Alrighty, and I already did that, yep. Okay. I love this ship. Yeah, it's cool. It'd be a bunch cooler once I have an actual, like, Star Fury, though. But, yeah, the moons of Jupiter are rather neat. They look way too close together. I suppose it would depend on where they are. At some point, I might go through the Celestia program that's uh, on SourceForge. I have it on my computer and try to plot things out when I'm writing to the extent that it's relevant. I, I don't have a software thing to plot out accelerative transfers, but it's you know, guesswork. Like if you're gonna do a home and transfer, it's like a half of a arc kind of thing around the system. For uh, anyway, though, yeah. Let's see where we want to go. Anyone that says they want ship parts, let's fly to there and see what it is that Odysseus. Do you guys? Attention vessels, you've been granted docking access. Please proceed. Sensors show no enemy contact. Are they terraforming this, or is it just green because of, like, what would all that crap be? Who knows? Uh, probably not something that's not toxic. Uh, who knows? Extra crispy... Abide the ground crew guidelines, and enjoy your stay. Extra crispy cool. Okay, can you... So, okay, good price to sell, it says, and now it disappears. Uh, do we want to buy those? 
No. Okay, they don't have a whole bunch of good trade. So that's lovely. So let's refuel for nine cents. And I guess let's get out of here. Odysseus kind of sucks. 1753. Oh, wait. I wish. I can only say the same things over and over so much before everyone downvotes and unsubscribes because being entertaining. This is flight control. Docking access granted. Is something Proceed I'm not when good ready. At. Security scan confirmed. You're clear. Have a pleasant stay. Okay. So Let's see what we can do. Anything here? Wow, that's a worse price. Any good price to sell that. Good price to buy those and those to the extent that they're actually useful. Okay, 24 cents or 56 cents, I guess. Let's get metal parts. And do you have anything near metal parts and sell it at Lighthouse, which is Neptune? Okay. I guess, uh, yep, make sure we got fuel, and let's see how it goes to go in that. Yeah, oh, there's the Great Red Spot. I guess that storm's back. I keep hearing news about it dying down, but it's like, yeah, who knows, it probably is something that would recur anyway. Yep, like, I don't know, though. Oh, they have ship parts as production, so that won't be good for selling those. Docking request confirmed. Mm, Please proceed to the landing Extra crunchy pad. station. Sure no enemy contact. Security clearance granted. It, it, the stations in the atmospheres of these gas giants just do not make sense. It's but it's. I, I no, don't mean to undock. I mean to get more fuel. So thirty cents of fuel. I just said to buy. And seventy-seven cents. So we covered the cost of fuel at least. Here's a good price to buy, it says, though. And they'd, they'd pay 262 cents, or they'd have me buy it for, for pie. Good price to sell. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we have more ship parts to keep in our stock. Lovely. Did I do this already? Yep, okay. Yep, let's go. Mm, nice view. Yeah, you get clouds and you get crushing doom if you go south too much. Well, not south, but you know. The idea of south. Even though it's just to the core of the planet where you get to be part of the uh, extra crunchy diamond cores. Or something like that. Okay, I guess let's go to Earth. And I don't know. Nutrients, oxygen. I haven't been to Terra Vida before, so let's see how that goes. This is flight control. Docking access granted. Proceed when ready. I'm not detecting enemies. We keep your eyes open. So, I guess welcome to somewhere really cool. Literally. Maybe it's Russia. Srasvichem Tovrish. Who knows? Credentials cleared. Welcome aboard. Okay, whatever though. Good price to sell just the one though. Yay. Just one. And that's a lovely thing. 38 cents to get fuel. And I know credit's not cents, but it's... I, I'm just assuming inflation has somehow reversed, like maybe you maximize production and put everything high on supply so everything's low demand and there's not scarcity as much. But you get a whole bunch of stuff in surplus and maybe learn how to preserve food better so you don't have stuff just rotting on the shelves. Who knows, something like that could be cool. Uh, let's see, anything that can be bought or do we still have yeah, a whole bunch that's like, oh, please spend actual money. Oh, my word. At 5,500 cents, that would be nice to get someday. Let's see, how much this would be 1560 to sell, and that would be 520 to sell. That's stupid. 
but yeah, not doing that. And oh yeah, let's not have the transport as the one that we're flying just in case we're attacked in the game. To all the computers listening, dun dun dun. But yeah, let's see anything else we want to get here. Good price to sell. Good price to sell. Good price to buy. 11 cents for oxygen. Lovely. Okay. And where is it supposed to be that oxygen? It's MCS. I don't know what that stands for. Probably some corporation name. I think I'm going to stop after I go to MCS and it's pretty much what I'm doing while I'm not selling very well. Let's see, that's Orion. Where was MCS? Was it this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, no combat in this one. Attention vessels, you've been granted docking access. Unless Please I get... proceed. No contacts. We're clear. Unless I get ambushed. Oh, let's go to the map actually because, check this out, this shows the, uh, it's like, um, it shows how the planet, the star systems around Earth look like Alpha Centauri's in its own little corner. And we can't rotate it though, that's not as cool, but, uh, this is how it looks around us. This is how the stars are arranged around the solar system. The closest one to us being Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri, but yeah, here's how they look though. It's neat. And uh, once we get the wormhole open, we can like have uh, pathways even showing it branching out, and that's even neater, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go to MCS. Did we go there? Yep, okay. So, ah. And turn, even though it's kind of the goofiest system there for landing, refuel, and see about selling this stuff. So sell that, so we only got 8 cents profit on that. Oh, this is a good price to sell, it says. So we're up to 29.96. I don't know if that's any better than we had before. But I'm going to stop now and... Uh, I'll figure out what to buy next next time, like it'll probably be uranium at, at Mars Station Demos. Anyway, yeah, gonna save that for later. And here's the Buzz Lightyear ship of doom. Doom, doom, doom. Anyway, take care everyone, and try not to go crazy.